Jean Hill has lived in Concord, Massachusetts for 40 years, but it was only a few months ago that this grandmother, best known for her blueberry pie, became a political force. There's nothing wrong with tap water. And Concord's tap water is fine. Last year, the town passed a resolution. At the annual town the meeting in April, Hill proposed a resolution to ban her town from selling still water in plastic bottles. It passed. The most appalling was the trashing of our planet. And then there's the waste. Only 27% of used plastic water bottles are recycled. The rest are thrown away. They're filling our landfills and they're ending up in the ocean. Americans now consume 39 billion gallons of bottled water a year, spending $11 billion. But an industry group tells CBS News the plastic bottles contribute less than 1% of the U.S. waste stream. Don't understand why it's only water. Bob Vello is the general manager of Crosby's Marketplace in Concord. Grocery stores like his worry that a ban would send customers someplace else to buy their water and the rest of their groceries. If plastic is the issue, then you would expect it to be everything, whether it be soda or whatever. We've heard some concern expressed that uh, water is a perfectly lawful uh, substance. Concord's town manager, Chris Whalen, understands his town's green streak. It's home to Walden Pond, which people here consider the birthplace of the conservation movement. I think the overall sentiment was we need to do more to protect the environment, reduce our consumption of petroleum-based products and plastic and, and that type of thing. Concord would become the first American town to ban the sale of bottled water, a revolutionary move in a place where the first shots of the Revolutionary War were fired 235 years ago. But the state's attorney general found the bottle ban cannot be enforced because there's not even a penalty for violation. Hill plans to revise her bylaw and try again. Thank you for, quote, sticking your neck out, unquote, on the plastic issue. She's received postcards of support from around the country. I'm 82 years old. I don't want to go until I'm all used up. And so I took on this battle, and I'm, I'm determined to see it through.